What's going on YouTube? Chiasna right here. So in today's video we're talking about two vulnerabilities that have been released for iOS which can potentially be used for jailbreak purposes. So we're going to get into it. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to manage the information on your device, for example photos and music and apps and so on, and of course the data from your iCloud account all in one app. There's a free trial available which supports iOS 14 as well. Check it out in the link below. So yesterday security researcher Binary Boy posted this quote, published two short write-ups and POCs or proof of concepts for some fairly recent iOS kernel vulnerabilities. And they posted a link to their GitHub, which has these. So it's basically saying here and days, which means that they're not zero days or unknown. They have been patched, but still interesting. So one of them is CVE 2021-1757. This one is a little bit older and I don't think it's relevant anymore. Yeah, it was patched on 14.4. So it would have been relevant for the iOS 13.3 users. However, However, one of the vulnerabilities posted, the one in the Apple H10 in here is actually quite relevant because this one has been patched in 14.5, giving the iOS 14.4, 14.4.1 and 14.4.2 users something good for jailbreak purposes. And this one here apparently doesn't have a CVE number because while it has been patched by Apple in the iOS 14.5 and is probably even present in here in the security content, they did not assign a CVE number to it, probably because the security security researcher did not follow the responsible disclosure technique. Anyways, the write-up in here, which was posted, does detail with code everything that you need to know about the vulnerability itself, and it does show the panic log in which they managed to control one of the registers, which is x8 in here, writing 1337 or lit. So it does show that this does indeed work. Now of course, you can see in here that it says iOS 14.3, but this is exploitable up to 14.4.2, and even on Mac OS. So the obvious question I got tagged in here quite a lot in this post is can this be used for jailbreak purposes well it might just but not on PAC devices let me tell you why if you are searching here for PAC it's going to give you information about what they found the security researcher themselves said in here quote as I found a lot of bugs in this text or kernel extension I wanted to show the code quality of this driver I tried to act cool and drop this thinking that I might get a CVE at least since there was an OOB execute kind of bug in that just as well. By the way, I haven't analyzed its exploitability even to this date, but I do think it might be exploitable on non-PAC devices. So what exactly is this PAC, non-PAC and stuff like that? Well, PAC is everything starting from the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and so on. So basically A12 and newer. All of these in here, iPhone 12, iPhone 11, iPhone SE 2020, XS Max, XR, all these have PAC, which is pointer authentication codes, a security technique. Now, it says in here that this might be exploitable on non-PAC devices, but that doesn't mean it won't work on A12. It just means that you would need a PAC bypass in order to make this work. So instead of one bug, it would be two. But this has been a problem for quite some time now. Uncover, Torin, and many other jailbreaks which work on A12 already need to use something like this or to bypass PAC altogether. They either have to exploit it or bypass it. There is no way around. So yes, out of the box, this wouldn't work on PAC without a PAC bypass or without a PAC exploit. But then again, that's normal procedure by now. And all the exploits that work on the A12 either avoid PAC altogether because of the technique they use, or of course use a PAC bypass like Uncover does. Like Uncover does. So that's not really a problem. But the bug itself might be exploitable even on the A12 and A13 and A14 devices with the right companion PAC bypass, which makes it quite valuable. So this has been patched on 14.5, making it only available for the 14.5. 14.4.1 and 14.4.2. Still a valuable bug. And it does show that people are starting to release their vulnerabilities which were patched, which means that soon we'll probably going to get vulnerabilities from the iOS 14.6 patch log which would work on 14.5 and 14.5.1. It's that time again in the whole jailbreak waiting part where people start to release vulnerabilities because they were patched quite some time ago and they no longer need it and they no longer need to keep it secret. So just a little bit more waiting before 
before we can have a proper jailbreak. But yes, that vulnerability definitely is interesting and it does work on 14.4.2 and lower. So yeah, that's a little bit of love for the 14.x people because a lot of people were complaining that I'm making videos about 14.5 and 14.6, especially with the Pawn My jailbreak, which will only work in Safari, but on 14.5 and newer. So here you go. There is a vulnerability that was released for 14.4.x. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated for the latest jailbreak news and peace out.